the, the idea that it takes courage um, to do these kinds of things. Yeah. And um, I have to admit, I mean, he said this, too, that uh, sorry when he looks at our, our culture and our society, we don't have a lot of courage. We're not, we're sort of going along with things uh, to a certain extent. Now, he said it more eloquently than that, but the, but the idea that uh, to be truly free and to be free to say those things that have that edge to them like you're talking about um, takes a certain amount of courage going against the grain, and then there are consequences for that as it goes. Yeah, well, one, one of the things uh, that both uh, Joe Rogan and Dr. West were talking about, I think, w- went to this notion of freedom. And uh, uh, when we are truly free, sometimes it's, it's scary, or maybe always it's scary, because suddenly, if you are free, then there is no one to blame for what happens next uh you know we we tend to a lot of times as human beings i think uh maybe maybe look for reasons why things don't go as well as we may have originally planned them Mm -hmm. and if you're in a you know if you're in a situation where the accountability rests with with you yourself, which ultimately it does yes. in, in most cases. If you if you're in that situation, then uh, the I guess I guess the burden you carry in that is that if things aren't going the way you plan, then do you recalibrate or B do you uh, adjust, do you adapt, and that kind of thing. Right. At, at the same time, I think there was a a, a discussion that. Uh, that maybe there's a lack of courage that that, mm-hmm. that that in the species, I think is the way right. I, I think Dr. That's, West that's, said it, a lack of courage <laughs> in the species. And I think I think to some extent uh, you can see why that that would be true. I mean, uh, oftentimes the courageous are the ones who stick their necks out. Go and against the grain. Go against the grain. Yes, that's right. But there are several things can happen. It, it's it's almost a, a here's a I, I guess a good business uh, analogy. Okay. Let's say uh, you're courageous, and so you go out and you borrow um, a lot of capital okay. to establish a business. Yeah. And then the business doesn't go well, and you Oops. end up bankrupt, Oops. and you lose your home, that kind of thing. Well, well, I'll, I, I think in a lot of cases, folks would rather not take that risk because in, it's easier to go to work for someone, which is what I did most of my life, go to work for someone. Then you have someone, you have rules, you have boundaries, you have these things. And the, the expectation on your part is that if you... If you follow these rules, stay within these boundaries. You have, you have superiors who you listen to. If you if you follow right. all that, then you're going to be okay. And right. in fact, I mean that, that, that's almost the promise of that, and that that's a tradition uh, that has kind of passed on, and we bought into it to a certain extent. Well, I was going to say it's it's a it's a total mindset, and it's uh, there's absolutely no reality to it i mean it it's real in the sense that as long as things are going good for for whomever you work for uh that that maybe things will go well but just a few things go differently in an organization or in a in an economy and suddenly you're just as out to the woods right. as you would be if, if you were a a business person and you were reporting to yourself and, right uh, and there, there's that structure and i think he used that word as well yeah. too that that sometimes we sort of rely upon that structure to get us through but if the person truly uh becomes free and says what it, going against the grain as we just mentioned yeah. that it's going against that structure as well yep. so even the ideologies behind those structures it can it's going to take that courageous person to make that difference for people i think